Praise God. This is Food for Thought. And let's go into our Bible reading from 1 Thessalonians 5, 19, which says, Do not quench the Spirit. Well, what does the word quench mean? Webster says, quench means to satisfy, to extinguish, to cool, suddenly by plugging into water. And so, when I think of quench, I think of quench my thirst. But here, when we're talking about do not quench the spirit, we're talking about the Holy Spirit. And everyone can relate that the Holy Spirit is thought up as fire. So when Paul talks to the Thessalonians and say, do not quench the spirit, he's letting us know, do not put water on the spirit. Do not water the spirit down. Amen. It is a common complaint and concern. Why aren't most Christian films being produced? And why do so many new television programs seem to focus on questionable content and violence or violations of biblical principles? When asked these questions at a recent conference, a major Christian actor said that one of the reasons for the lack of Christian theme content has been the negative response of many Christians. This actor described how discouraging it was to work hard to get the backing of secular business leaders and media executives only to receive little support from Christians and often much criticism. Praise God. This is an issue faced by people at all levels of society. It can seem so easy to be negative and so hard to be positive. Too often we fail to realize the impact of our critical words on others. How many pastors have prayed and sought God about a sermon only to face criticism from their congregations? How many Sunday school teachers have diligently prepared a lesson only to face indifference from their classes? How many wives have worked hard on a meal or housekeeping only to be ignored by their husbands? How many children have been diligent on a school project only to receive disapproval from their parents? The Bible encouraged us to remember that we have choices to make and our words and actions have an impact on others. We can spread either encouragement or discouragement. We can crush someone's enthusiasm or inspire them to be closer to God. We can be witnesses for the gospel or instruct or instruments of defeat. We can spread discouragement and quench the spirit or build someone up and inspire them to go deeper in their spiritual life. In your life, seek to be a strong witness for the gospel. Seek to let your light shine. Be a person who constantly encourages others and builds up the body of Christ. Father, cleanse our hearts and minds of thoughts that are displeasing to you. Use us to impact others for building your kingdom. And Provide us with victory and breakthroughs in our lives and in the ministries of your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and 